Hello everybody and welcome to another Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword Let's Play video. This is another video with Sword Tell Your Host. And today the main reason we are starting this like this because I figured out how we get the shield. We don't actually buy it from Bazaar. Uh, you get it from this dude here. He actually gives it to you. So that was very, very nice of him. The wooden shield is light and maneuverable, but it's the weakest of all the shields. Also keep in mind that it's particularly vulnerable to fire. If it breaks, you can buy one new one at Bazaar. So there we go. Uh, we got ourselves a new shield, which is quite nice. The Knight Commander... I uh, will be happy to teach us, which I'm pretty sure we already know how to use the shield, though. Which, uh, you just kind of, like, you move your nunchuck, which is basically the shield. Of course, it's your left arm, so, left. And then the sword, which is your right. Put away. Uh, let me actually draw the sword. So, the sword kind of, it's more maneuverable when you don't have the, um, the shield out, basically. It's, it's pretty, it's just, okay, so, yeah, I've got the shield out, like, it's kind of in front of me more, so that's basically less maneuverable, but then you've got the sword, which is more maneuverable if the shield is kind of to the side, basically. That's what I was trying to say. So let's go ahead and go into Bazaar, because there's a couple things that we've got to buy here. Now, uh, one of them being a bottle, uh, which would be awesome if we can grab that, and you don't get it from here. You don't get it from there. You actually get the bottle, watch this, watch this, my eyes, bro, you have gigantic eyes. Um, no, thank you. I could foresee that you will be fall. I'm the fortune teller. Trust my piercing eyes. No, thank you. I don't want to. No, go away. I just, I just, nah. No, thank you. All right, so this lady, she's actually quite nice. Hey, you there. Yes, you adorable boy with the golden hair. Welcome to the potion shop. You can drink from our potions when you're injured to fill up your hearts. Hey, you like one of those knights, aren't you? Or one in training, at least, hmm? Let me tell you, one good look at you, and I can tell you, you need my potions. Yes, I do need your potions, so I thank you. Oh dear, you, I forgot if you have an empty bottle on you, just so you know, I can't have, I can't sell you a potion if you don't have an empty bottle. But for some reason, I like you, though. I'll give you a spare empty bottle I've been keeping here in the stall. It's nothing, it's my little gift. So there we go, we got ourselves an empty bottle. Um, just to speed up. Alrighty, we got a empty bottle. We can fill out all sorts of useful things, such as fairies and... And it's awesome, so let's just see. If you ever get to uh, to the point where you can't fit any more stuff in your pouch, because it's full, uh, so what would you like to buy? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. this. I know this is the stamina potion, so that fills our stamina gauge or makes it deplete less. Um, what does this blue one do, I'm assuming? Slow down. Yeah, that potion's not quite ready for public consumption yet, but I promise I'll have it out soon. Okay. Meantime, I've got plenty of other great potions for you to try out. What does this red one do? Uh, is this the same kind of situation? That's a vat of heart potion, my dear. Uh, wow, eight hearts. That's actually really good. 20 rupees. Um, no thank you just at the moment. You don't want it, dear? Uh, most of my potions might taste a bit strange, but there's no denying what they do. They're, they do what they're advertised. Uh, what is this thing you do? No, hello, welcome to my humble little side business. This guy infuses the potions so they actually do better. Uh, so like instead of 8, it'd be like 16. I don't actually have anything to infuse. Actually, I think it'd be double. I'm not 100% sure though. Um, let's go ahead. And what does this potion you do? That is the Guardian Potion. This stuff makes you feel invincible. The potion that reduces the damage you take for a little bit at a time. So it reduces the damage. That's quite nice. Um, oh, 200 flipping rupees. I only got 40. Holy, that's insane. I don't need Window Shop. Well, I want to see what the potions do first. The mysterious Elixir known as Revitalizing Potion. Simply pour on a broken shield, and in a moment, it, the shield will be as good as new. It's amazing. None of that. It's a multi-purpose. It will even restore four hearts. 30 rupees, um, you know, I am actually going to take that, I think that that will be, uh, the most helpful out of all of the potions, so let's go ahead and grab that, we got some revitalizing potion, uh, so we, if our shield starts to break, then we can go ahead and fix it, uh, as well as heal four hearts, so if we, if I ever need to use it, I can just, uh, have press and hold on one, push it over here, and release to select, but I want the shield out right now, so, no, 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 I want it out, not, not unequipped, okay, so there we go, and what we've got to do is, I believe we should actually go down to the surface, uh, I think we're actually that close, and we get to go down to the surface, now's the time, I'm gonna jump off right here, man, here we go, down, down, what? That's lame, I can't call my bird? That's stupid. Okay, whatever. I'll just, I'll go fine, fine. Watch your step there. Haven't they taught you the academy? The knights was always be vigilant. Oh my, that's stupid. I can't just jump off anywhere. I should totally just be able to jump off anywhere. Anywhere I want to jump off, I should be able to jump off. I didn't lose any hearts, partially because you saved me, but that's still kind of lame. So let's go ahead and, and I guess you jump off the dock, because we have to. And I should have jumped to there, but I don't think you can actually do anything at the island, so... And I don't know why my bird kind of fluttered. I think it was because it hit the island. So, all right, let's find where the uh, where the portal. Oh, look at that! It's right there. Shoom! That was actually not hard to find. 
And uh, let's go up just a little bit. So make it a little bit easier to go down. And we can dive, 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 dive. Nyum, 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 nyum. I do kind of want to see what happens if I hit the clouds. Uh, but I'm not going to right now just because I kind of don't really want to do that. I, I'm not really... Not really feeling that I want to do that. So, Master Link, observe the green pillar before he was a column of light. Sweet. So, we, we yeah, that's reasonable. You can confirm your current... Where, why is that giant vortexy thing there? What the heck does that even do? Please see where your relation is to Skyloft. So, I yeah, I saw it. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll be able to reach the surface by passing through the portal in the clouds. So, let's go ahead and continue on my dive down. Keep diving faster, faster, Loftwing. Shoom. Man, we're going so fast. And then let's dive. There we go. Dive, dive, dive. It's like a like an army or like a militia or something like that. So there we go. I don't know how we got up so high because we were totally just in that hole in the clouds. Also, it must take ages to fall through that clouds. I feel so far so sorry for Linky. It must take at least five minutes to fall through these clouds to fall all the way down to the surface. Oh, awful, awful. All right, so I think we have to press B. Yes, I believe we do. Um, where do you go, B? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Sailcloth, boop. There we go. I'd prefer not to die. My very first time, and let's go ahead and also activate this bird statue as long as he doesn't walk anywhere. Uh, Fi, would you please enlighten us? Master Link, we've arrived. Well, really, we have. I'm, I would have never guessed. This is the fabled surface that the long part has been, or that has long been part of the Skyloft legend. Be by my calculations, you are currently positioned in a location known as the Sealed Grounds, which is reasonable because the grounds are kind of the sealed, like, you know, see that fence? There's like a castle. I just love the art style, how it's kind of like art, like it's like a painting, kind of when you get farther away, it's so cool. And also, that thing down in the bottom is evil, and we need to kind of shoot it really hardcore. So the thing is, um, there we go, it kind of colors it in, and you can see the, uh, the other couple of areas that we've got. Um, there we go, wow, that zoomed in a lot. Um, I don't really need to see that any longer, thank you. Please proceed with caution, Master. I will, you know it, but first I want to activate this bird statue before we go anywhere. Um, can I not? Oh, do I have to, like, Skyward Strike it or something? Let's see. Shoom, oh, come on, Skyward Strike, there we go, boom. Foom. Nope, that did not do anything. I'm not 100% sure what I've got to do to activate that statue, but I um, haven't done it. So there we go. There's a couple of enemies that we got to get rid of. Um, shump. Shump. There we go. Cut you in half. Because I know that these guys kind of, um, they they open up different ways. And so it's kind of, you got to cut them in a different way, each one. So uh, let's go ahead and let's see. Let's go like, oh, flip. The E totally jumped at me really fast. Um, there we go like that. Bam. And this other one hasn't even gone to at me yet. Oh, my gosh. Just, I am already failing really hardcore. Um, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. I kind of don't really want to fight you, but I'm going to, because you're a turd. Um, let's see here, and, uh, let's go ahead and, and I'll target on you then. And, um, bam. Oh, shoot. There we go. Bam. There we go. Killed you and killed you. That was a lot harder than it should have been, and I lost a lot more hearts than I also should have. But, uh, you know what? Oh, there's little heart plants, though. I'm gonna grab those, because I need them. Oh, that was awful. I really should have done better, but <laughs> everything, like, turns different. Link doesn't even notice. Freaks out after it's all gone back to normal. Hmm, what the heck was that? I don't know. <sighs> that thing is emitting some dark energy matter stuff that I don't want to be a part of, so we got to go down there and we got to check it out. Oh, my gosh, it's evil. It's evil. It transported us somewhere. Where did you take us, you evil fiend? Where did you take us? Um, I think, I think that this is, I just, okay, if, if this happened to me, I wouldn't move, because if you move, then you might not be standing on the ledge anymore, and you might be falling off and, like, smack your face on the ground, and that would really suck, so I would just, like, stand there and be like, oh, okay, I'm not gonna move. Of course, if it's something that's gonna, like, kill me, then I would probably move, but that would be dangerous, though. I'm not really 100% sure what I would do. But there we go, I think, I think we passed out right there, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, but I think Link will, like, oh, no. He just stunned there. He's just like, oh no, everything went pitch black and now it's all back to normal. I wonder what that was. Fi's probably gonna come and tell us something. I'm assuming, or we can just keep staring down there. And oh, the wind. Oh, fresh air. Awesome. I okay. So I really wonder. I'm pretty sure though. Like if you if you were in Skyloft, if you would have fresh air, I'm fairly sure you would. But I'm not 100% sure, because if there was no fresh air, that would be awfully sad. And then he comes down here, he's like, oh my gosh, fresh air, that would be amazing. So, uh, let's cut this grass, shoomp. And let's just see, you got anything for me? Nope, okay. 
that's all good. So let's jump down here and sail cloth. Boop. Very nice. I sail cloth way above the ground. Boop. That was closer. Um, and we've got to we've got to confront this evil thing here. We don't wanna we don't wanna have any part of this. I was gonna draw my sword. Young one. Child of destiny descended from the sky. Oh my gosh, that's me. I wonder who you're talking about. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's Link. Not me, that's Link. Raise the sword of the goddess. Why? Okay, my question is, why is the evil thing telling me what to do? Take aim at evil aura and... Okay, no. I don't actually know who's talking, but... If the... Like, this, this evil thing was telling me how to destroy it, that wouldn't make any sense at all. But we got rid of the evil aura, and I actually know exactly what this is, and if we could just smash it right now, that would probably be good, because it, be, it just causes a gigantic pain later on in the game, so I don't know. If, if we could smash it, that would be great. Master Link, I'm sensing a change in the area that was triggered by your Skyward Strike. Really? I've also detected an aura that closely correlates, or correlates closely to the seal cloth. What? I surmise this aura belongs to Zelda. Oh, okay. Uh, the process is known as dowsing. We learned dowsing. Uh, please ex explain dowsing for all the people who exactly have no idea what dowsing is. How far? Okay, we're 11 minutes. As you wish, Master. Dowsing is when I, sl I detect the presence of the aura. Uh, the nearer you are to an object emitting an aura, the question will be the stronger the response. The response manifests itself through the vibration and sound. Okay, well, I can't actually hear anything. But there we go. There's a Zelda dowsing. And then the eye is just, like, looking around. Hold down and select C uh, to select Zelda as your dowsing target. Uh, okay. Will do. Let's go ahead and do that, actually. So, let's douse Zelda, uh, center. There we go. And let's see. <laughs> okay, there we go. We, we've got a, we've got a hit. We've got a hit right about there. It's about where Zelda is. So, I think it's, like, up in this area. So, let's go ahead and go, all right, here. This is probably the closest one. Shoom. And I don't think I've got to open up my silk cloth. I think it'll just open up automatically. So, yep, there we go. And let's see. Let's keep dowsing. Uh, Dows, 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 where did it go? Alright, it's right there. Alright, because I know, that, I was going to say, I know that there's like a, another little area there. Or another air thingy that we can go up right here. Please have no fence there. Okay, good. We just went back up right to where we was before, which, um, presumable. Pretty, pretty presumable with this little door here. I just don't think, I'm not 100% sure if there's anything else that we might need to check out before we go. What the heck? Is that, like, some sort of bug? Uh, what are you? Oh, yes, it is some sort of bug. I'm not gonna collect you, though, because I'm not 100% sure how to grab you, and I don't have a bug net, so... Is there anything in here? Nope, just a random little corridor, which is totally useless to us. And let's jump down, and still cloth, boop, because I don't want to take any damage from falling. Of course, we wouldn't have, but, I mean, you never know. So, this is the Eye of the Sheikah, and I think this was introduced in, like, Ocarina of Time, something like that. But for some odd reason, the um, the seal just <laughs> randomly breaks. So there we go. Also, I don't know how Link knew that those doors were supposed to open inwards because there was no sign. There was no say. There's no sign that said "open inwards" or something like that. There's there's nothing that said anything. So I think Zelda's straight ahead. Um, yeah, because that's. I mean, the dowsing is pretty much freaking out about now. So let's go ahead and run uh, and see if we can't find her. Ooh, that was a pretty dang good jump, uh, Link. I'm, I'm I'm glad you did that. So there we go, we got this, uh, this person here, I'm not 100% sure, where's Zelda? You tell me where Zelda is right now! Ah, the traveler descended from the clouds above, I welcome you, child of fate. Well, thank you, I appreciate your welcoming me. Um, are you gonna tell me where Zelda is, though? Tell me, what is your name? Dot, dot, dot. Link, ah, Link, very good. I sense you've already gained control over the sacred power that fills the sword when pointed skyward. It is proof that you are fit to bear the blade you carry. I've sat here for many weird years. Why? Why did you just... Okay, if you're... If you sat there for many years, how did you eat? How, like, did you sleep? Are you, like, almost dead? Are you already dead and you're some kind of aberration? Also, I could fulfill my purpose as your guide. Well, I appreciate also you being my guide because I've... I'm, I'm kind of lost here. You stand under the roof of the sealed temple, a place built by the goddesses an eternity ago. Blah, blah, your arrival here, spirit maiden, um, you seek arrived here shortly before you, descending to this land in a shower of light. There's no doubt thing it, the gears of fate have begun to turn. You have a gigantic hat, I have to say. Yet, 
all is not as it should be. The spirit maiden was not meant to reach this land in the manner she did. I feel an evil power working in the shadows. Oh no, I to see Zeldargon. You are concerned for the spirit maiden and seek her whereabouts. Yes, that is understandable. But for now, you must focus on moving forward. That girl has her own purpose she must pursue, as do you. She set off for Farron Woods to discover that her destiny for herself. Why would she do that? Why wouldn't she just wait? I mean, if you sat there for, like, what, thousands of years... Um, okay, so Farron Woods. I mean, again, if you sat there for legit, like, thousands of years, why wouldn't she just kind of wait for me? Um, create beacons. When a beacon is marked on your map, a column of light will stand in that location. It will act as your waypoint from afar. Pr or point at the X and press C to place the beacon. Alrighty, so, boop, press C. We got ourselves a beacon on the X. Uh, though you cannot see it from where we are, a beacon stands outside to guide you. Leave the temple through the front doors and see yourself. Um, blah, blah, blah. Thank you for the beacon gift, though, because those are really useful, and you can use those in the Shadow Realm thingies, and it makes it a lot easier. On your way, I'll take the contents of the treasure chest within the room. This room? What room? Where room? Huh, room? What's going on? What treasure chest? I do not. I didn't see any treasure chest. Oh, my gosh. Oh, okay, so I, th I, I have no idea what you're talking about. You're ready. Relieve the door before you and head into the woods. I wish you safe travel. Know that all the questions will now be answered. Uh, so, go, Link. I was just gonna say, how'd you know my name? But I told you it. Uh, okay. Ooh, there's a chest right here. Let's open it. Come on, be some rupees or something like that. Oh, my gosh. I'm not 100% sure if that gave us an extra bottle or not. To please. Oh, yes. We got another bottle. Sweet. I want to see if there's something else on this other side. Because I am curious. Uh, do you have anything over here? Nope. Uh, let's just go ahead and smash these vases. A fairy. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, this will be so much more helpful. Uh, we want to use this. There we go, and we want to grab this and scoop, scoop the fairy, scoop the fairy. There we go. Awesome, because this this is very, very, very more helpful. Um, automatically after you run out of heart. So that's way more helpful than uh, this revitalizing potion. Figuring we already have one. Uh, now that we've got two, so I'm, I'm very, very happy about that. Um, again, I can't dig in the ground. You do get kind of like mole mitts, I think they're called. And you can dig in the ground, but I can't do that yet. Uh, nothing there. We can sit down, replenish our hearts. Let's uh, pop these vases. And what the heck? Uh, a couple bugs. All right, can I sneak up on you? Slash! No, I can't. Okay, grasshopper, goodbye. Let's see. I want to see what time we're at before I s don't save. Okay, we're at 17 minutes. Um, I'm not going to save because we've got a couple more minutes that uh, that we can go. And then I'll probably just come back here to uh, to save. Which would probably just be easier to just save right now and cut a little bit short. That's what I'm thinking about doing. Like, these episodes, they'll, they'll fluctuate just a little bit because I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to be able to find bird statues and where statues won't be and will be. And so, I mean, again, they'll fluctuate just a bit to just to make it a bit easier on me um, for... For all that stuff, I should probably, you know, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go back in here because we don't have to rewatch that cutscene, and we are going to watch or we're gonna um, mark this location of uh, the bird map on our or the bird statue on our map. One second, I need to center this because that's totally not centered. There we go, because that'll just be more helpful, and we need to mark it on our map anyways. Uh, cancel. So please be on our map now. Uh, no, you're not on our map. Okay, well, I'm actually gonna go ahead. Yeah, and end off here, so hopefully all of you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate it. Whoa, I didn't know we could Skyward Strike while we're walking. That's kind of cool. So, again, hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next episode. We will be continuing on our journey to save Zelda, as well as um, and figuring out some other, some other stuffs that need to be figured out. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later. Oh, wait. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody.